Do you want to try a little like, murder mystery? Can we can we can we do one here? Or does it take too much planning? To, oh, to... oh oh oh! How much planning could All right, it take? Let's, let's bring out Demorge Brown and. Okay. and uh... <laughs> All right. What's that? Uh, yeah, you stay there. Oh yeah. Okay, all right. What's the what's the quick way to do this? Okay, uh, uh, I th- yeah, that's. I think this is more Spencer's bailiwick than anybody's. Like he's the. Oh, Spencer's just going to reject the whole thing. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> uh, it was going to. That was going to go one of two ways. It's already done. All right. I'll, 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 I'll tell. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna improvise like the information you'd get on like a murder mystery night card. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. Um, if you saw that, I heard. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh my word! It's the storm has given me such a fright. I, s- I, I say the weather is a bit dreeks right now, isn't it? Well, why not? A bit what? Dreeks? It's Scottish, you know. I'm not Scottish. I'm English. Well, but I've been all over the United Kingdom. Well, hey, come on, you guys. This weather's a bit rough. Is it? Is I'm it? sorry. Was I going on? Well, uh, isn't that your way? To sneak into a room and take anything you want. You oh, no. Well, fucker. You. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I haven't had the pleasure of your acquaintance, sir. I, I, it seems a bit warm language for, for a new acquaintance. That's fine. Excuse me. Sorry. I didn't expect things... Oh, I didn't see you standing. Well, now, who is this gentleman? I am the butler, Mr. Hosterson. (laughs) Mr. Hosterson, I object to the language I was being treated with by this gentleman over here. Now, now, you all have complicated backstories. (laughs) That overlap with each other in intricate ways. Yes, for instance, I'm an explorer. (laughs) You can see how that weaves into your complex stories. Ah, an explorer, then we should have a lot to talk about. (laughs) I should say. You should all uh, you be uh, thanked for coming here on, uh, through such a terrible weather. Uh, this being the front room of the of the antechamber, um, there are six antechambers, each with a front room. But let's skip all that. And please come into the drawing room. Oh, what a lovely yes. drawing I'll room. I'll take your yes. coats, yep. starting with you, sir. Not starting with a lady, the very idea. <laughs> I, oh, I, Mr. Hostesson, start with a lady. I'm be quite very st- glad that there's a man between you and that animal rascal bastard bitch. Oh. <laughs> all, of, all of this masculine energy has given me the vapors. <laughs> I am quite sorry, madam. Uh, I'll take your coat. I don't oh, believe we've uh, been you. introduced. My name is Madam Beauregard. I am a, a lady of the South. Well, that's a very well-developed character. Thank you. Thank you. You know my gender and a region I come from. <laughs> so, you, know, you know, but done on the fly, I mean, that's... Oh, uh, wait, I'm British. Um, Are you? <laughs> Uh, uh, you, and your coat, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, be very careful with this. It's green felt. Oh, wh- wh- why is that? <laughs> well, they give you one when you reach a certain level at the academic institution that I've come from. They give you one to put you, you get into the faculty room and get the mustard sandwiches all by yourself with coats so they cut the crust off the sandwich. <laughs> oh. I see. So. Wait, 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 wait. What is all this rigmarole? What, uh, what is this character even? You sound to be a man of academia. I am. I focus on economics in Schumpeter, specifically until I became a single man, and then I focused on specifically the um, economics of the bachelor. It's a, it's a, the, uh, I, 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 I think that's the, the plot of community. <laughs> what should say? What, what's your name? Buttmunch. <laughs> Professor Buttmunch. If 
if I may, Professor, what are the, the economics of The Bachelor? Is it things like eating the peanut butter directly out of the jar so as to <laughs> save money on washing dishes? It goes further than that. You have to understand if the peanut butter is crunchy, directly out of the jar simply will not do. Oh, I forgot. Um, I, 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 I should get the door. Uh, uh, mar- mar- uh, uh, Marissa, I forgot there should be a murder victim. Marissa, come in here. Oh, the, the, the sit, sit, the sit in the chair there. Mind you. The- uh, this is uh, Lady Lady Florentine of the of the of the Flor- Florin Flor- Florins. Hello. Um, uh, 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 if you want to say anything, you'll get killed in a minute. Uh, thanks for having me. Good to be here. <laughs> And uh, your coat, sir, thank you. I think I'm Colonel Assmaster. <laughs> <laughs> These names are very, very imaginative for someone coming up with them right on the fly like this. Very colorful, I will yes. agree. Mm. <laughs> and you, sir? The name is Spoonerson. <laughs> Sounds like someone got tired of making up names. <laughs> As they went from one side of the stage to the other. <laughs> Got so caught up making up the name that they just threw in your occupation at the end, which was... Explorer. Right. <laughs> oh, God, the lights went out. Turn out the lights. Why, well, it's so dark. Oh, what oh, is happening? Oh, the lights oh, have I am a fiend uh, for my first name. The, the, lights, the, lights, have the, the lights are still on. The you lights are still on. Yeah. yeah. I can see everything that's happening. No. You can't turn up. I can really see it. I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that hard? I really said it. Uh, so I just. Ooh, ooh, okay. ooh. Yeah, you just. You know, Most you of the to... lights have ooh. gone out. Ooh. <laughs> I can, st- I can still kind of see everything. Do something I can comfortable. Still- the lights are gradually going out. <laughs> I am growing ever more terrified. Everybody just okay, close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. Oh, uh, except for that one camera phone. The lights have gone out. I can tell you as a bachelor, sometimes your lights go out when you least expect it. You thought you paid the bill and you skipped the month. More of these bachelor economics. Lights, lights! I found the circuit breaker. I found it. What? Man, oh, there's oh. been a murder. Oh. What? I think, oh. I, think yeah. I know who did it. A horse riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Hold on one second. There was a. T- <laughs> There was a chainsaw in there, too, so they may well have been in a car. Oh, it's a chainsaw. I, I, I do apologize. I'm unaccustomed to such machines. You know, in my travels, I... Well, ooh, ooh, the, 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 the body seems to have horse prints and gunshot and chainsaw marks all over her. I say, what, 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 a, dread, what a dreadful thing. Of this, course, the right. constabulary is held up by the storm, so we'll have to stay here until they show up. How but did that horse get away in that motorcycle if the storm is so bad? Well, I'm, I, would, I would hazard a guess that it was a Lipizzan or Stallions, among the smartest next to the Arabians. Ah. Not only can they hold a man, but they can ride a chainsaw. Very sensible. <laughs> Why would Very the sensible. storm be holding up the police? Are they in squad cars made of sugar, sir? <laughs> Oh, ma'am, I would suggest you take a look at a movie called The Shining. Um, well, one thing's for certain. Yes. <laughs> the murderer is in this very room. Cool. Oh, there's such good news. Scotland Yard is here. Detective Steve Levy How did he is, get into the, here. How did he get into the storm? Uh, he, he was here already uh, patrolling the barn. What? <laughs> Ooh. Detective Steve Levy. Oh, it's oh, yeah. uh, Detective, I can tell by your stance and posture you are a lonely man. God damn. Stolen pretty, the degree. It's pretty good. Inspector, I beg of you to solve this murder quickly. This puts me in mind of when my own dear husband was murdered. You say that you are, are already a, have a murdered spouse? Well, that cast the light of suspicion on you right away. Right away. What? One, one murdered spouse does not a murderess make, sir. <laughs> what is this, the staircase? <laughs> My husband was murdered by an owl. 
<laughs> under what circumstances? He was at the top of the stairs arguing with an owl. <laughs> Things got heated. <laughs> Well, uh, this, this is an active... Cl- said that sounds like a real who hey, done it. Hey, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this, this is an active crime scene. I think everyone should clear out. We'll put, we'll put around the yellow police tape and draw the outline of the body. We'll, oh my goodness, We'll sir. bring in the crew, clean we're, up. We're dealing with dignified company here. So do you need us to leave the room while you do all this? <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe you should stay and help me? Now, this seems highly irregular <laughs> that the suspects in the murder yeah. investigation <laughs> have to do the busy work of sealing the crime scene. It seems counter to your purposes, if you don't mind my saying so. I am just a woman from the South. <laughs> Well, one thing is for certain, sir. <laughs> if it would be all right with the constabulary, I believe the deceased corpse should be removed from the antechamber into the... Oh, I wasn't saying that you had to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> for a moment there, but I saw that. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, Marissa, like you it. can... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marissa has the corpse, everybody. It will take it will take two people who will split off into a different scene um, to move her the, her body uh, into the uh, uh, ice box. <laughs> well, this is a grisly affair. <laughs> well, seeing as how I'm a soldier and been accustomed to being around bloody scenes before, I'll. Lend a hand, I suppose. Do we have another volunteer? Are we, are we all British it's now? It's entirely of possible I'm that British. I might I'm be willing to uh, volunteer to assist this rascallion. What say you? Shall we? I don't see any reason for you to have such anger towards me, sir. Well, but the deed must be done, so let's do it together. Let's take it. Heave ho, lend a hand, yeah. Smoke, yeah. clap to that slab line, yeah. and hoist away on the, on the, on the, on the mizzen mast. Should, should we check with the police if yeah, this is Yes, this is highly case? suspicious. <laughs> well, is it, if this it, is a crime scene. Well, you, you, wasn't it you that just said it? We need to investigate. Well, I, he, I, Mr. Hostess said, There's an account, very so. wisely said we should put the body into the icebox. I mean, that's suspicious. <laughs> This is a very... Yes, Mr. Hostess, and why should we move the body away from the crime scene? And why the icebox? I mean, you done this and before. And whose house is this? <laughs> <laughs> and, why are, and why are we all here, for pity's sake? We never, that was never really made clear in the invitation. Why these four different people were asked to your home? We ah, just received like a the mysterious cube. invitation. <laughs> that is come correct. To, come to this mansion. You won't regret it. <laughs> well, it... It won't satisfy you further to know that I received a similar invitation which simply added, be the butler. <laughs> Sir, do you mean to say you are not a proper butler? Oh, oh my word! Take, I take much umbrage at your tongue wagging. I, I do I'll apologize. forgive you as you are a colonist, but I am from three generations yes. of, of manservants. Sergeant Levy, put some place else. Sergeant, Sergeant Levy, if I may pull you aside for a moment. Sergeant Levy, yes. if I may pull you aside for a moment. It seems to me that the, the, the main suspect here must be the host of this party that's never shown himself. Uh, invited to a strange room, invited with strangers, a um, murder. Uh, who, who is this host that sent out these invitations? It, I think he is your suspect. Yeah, well, I, you're accusatory. I, I don't know anything about anyone here. I just, I just arrived. There's a body. <laughs> if if, I, this if is, I may. This is insane. If I may. Yes. You, you're all a bunch of characters. You seem to, you seem to be a well terrible Well developed policeman. characters, I would say. Sorry. Very so, well developed. So well. Maybe you heard my husband got murdered some time ago. Uh, by an owl, she says. <laughs> An owl, indeed! Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, my wife disappeared in much the same manner as a death by the hands of a man. A man took her away with wily wiles. 
Oh. He left a scent in my house that could only be described as cologne. I know it because I wear it as such to try to procure another lady. Are you accusing me of some... If, if you have an accusation to make, so I suggest you make I've never smelled that, that scent before. Until tonight. What a... From that side of Yes, the it's true. I did run away with her wife, but I was not responsible for her disappearance. She left and I was, I was as much shocked as anybody. <laughs> She hates horses. Well, I suppose... (coughs) Not having done any of these, that it's time to pick who's the killer? You know, no! (laughs) Mr. Hosterson! Mr. Hosterson! Hosterson. If I may. Is this one of these situations where... (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Hosterson, if I may. I... I, there's someone who's been uh, conspicuously silent during all this. I agree. Oh, yes. Yeah. The straight explorer agree. fellow. This explorer. Now, now, sir, first of all, I will forgive you not removing your pith helmet in the presence of a lady. <laughs> But why are you so strangely silent, sir? There has been a murder. Because there's two things I know. One thing is that I'm an explorer. And two things are that ass master embezzled butt munch at some point. It's a plot point. And that might be relevant to this whole scenario we found ourselves in. Because otherwise, why would I know that? My goodness! What a cat's cradle of well-crafted character! It's as if some master storyteller I'm, of the top of his head wove a spider's web of delight! Indeed. Let me ask a question of these two gentlemen. Did you know the deceased lady? Mrs. Uh, Florentine? Of course we all knew Mrs. Florentine. She was the m- biggest... Uh, d- 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 uh, uh, the, the, biggest the biggest socialite in Essex Gardens. Yes, yes. She was the lady of the Florentine Gardens. No, not the same lady Florentine. The lady Florentine. Oh, my word, I had no idea I was in the presence of a celebrity. You, pre- a flower now, club. you yeah. pretend to not know who lady Florentine is. Well, I... I, I Perhaps it's Southern Modesty. I found yeah. a trap door. <laughs> My word! Let's all go down! (laughs) My goodness, the murder weapon this must be. It's covered in blood and horsehair. It's a standard issue horse knife. (laughs) Very wide handle to attach to a horseshoe. But only one person can lift this much weight. <laughs> well, Hosterson of the family Hoster, son of host, <laughs> gilded craftsman in the art of hospitality. Is it not true that you are a domestic Sherpa and that you must be Uh, skilled in the carrying of all things domestic and otherwise in a household should something happen, either economic uh, uh, problems. And isn't it also true that you would be the only one in this house that has access to the horse stables? Well, you are true after a fashion, my friends. (laughs) However... He's peeling his own face oh, off. Oh shit! Oh. This is disgusting. Oh, what you don't know is I have a horrible skin disease. <laughs> and keep peeling layers of my face off. Are you the Are you the actual master of this home? Are you the, Are you the no, owner? No, I'm just uh, horribly deformed. Oh. <laughs> Put, put it back on. That doesn't mean you can't lift the. Weapon. I can't put it back on. That's so He's offensive. Just peeling his own, just peeling his own skin off like that. See from poltergeist. Well, what would you have me do? Live in Not pain? Not do that. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's unpleasant, sir. Unpleasant. I would expect nothing less of all of you. What? <laughs> Another face peel off. Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> That's right. It's my house, and I invited all of you here because, well, each of you should know why. One way or another, you've all done something wrong to me, I think. (laughs) Uh, Colonel Assmaster. Yes? You've done a lot of wrong things to a lot of people. Did you not once uh, tell me that you would rather see me dead? uh, And, oh, this is falling apart. (laughs) 
Oh, just now? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, after a few glasses of port wine, I did say as much because you and Lady Florentine have been cheating around behind my back. It's quite well known that I had been dating Lady Florentine behind my wife's back for many, many months. I found another trapdoor. <laughs> but only I'm going down it. <laughs> yeah, look at him go. Okay. He's, he's clearly the murderer, right? This guy is... I think he is. Not this necessarily. Guy. This guy... Secret tunnels, miles of them. Well, Must be some kind of destination. Well, gentlemen, I feel like we've learned a valuable lesson here tonight. Some no. bachelors eat peanut butter straight out of the can. Others build tunnels and riddles. No, nobody chased me. I mean, it seemed like someone's obvious job to chase you, but uh, I don't, I don't want to point any fingers. Everyone, everyone, look, look. What? Sergeant Levy's been killed. Oh, that's why. While that distraction was happening, Sergeant Levy's laying dead in the floor with a, with a, with a, with a letter opener stabbed in the back of his face. I wouldn't. <laughs> killed in the back of his face. There's no light down here. I can't. I ran for miles and I can't. I guess I could go back the other way, but I've turned around so many times I can't tell which way I'm going now. I'll walk this way for 20 seconds, and if I don't encounter anything, I'll put a mark in the floor, like a divot that I can feel. Did, did you hear Five those years murmurs? later. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Will. Professor, I can't believe it's our fifth year here in this mansion. Still, look, the murders have gone unsolved. I think we know who did them. I mean. It seems like it's an open and shut case. I, I mean, my, my family must be worried about me at this point. I, in a way, though, uh, Colonel, I feel as if we've become our own little family in this mansion. <laughs> Say hi to my wife if you happen to leave. I found... I oh, found, snap. That's, that sounded like a burn, but I'm not sure who got burned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Say hi to my wife if you happen to leave. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I, that's, uh, that's what my mom off. Off. I will? <laughs> okay, yeah, sure thing. I can hear seagulls. I'm going to make my way towards the sound. Hopefully this will be my last diary entry. Hopefully, because I've published these tomes... A rocky shore. Has it been so long since I've seen the light? This elaborate labyrinth of caverns and passages must have gone all the way under the natural limestone of Murder Island. But why terminate here? Why put a door at the sheer cliff? The sound mocks me. I did a bad job hosting that murder mystery. <laughs> the jagged rocks invite me to my recompense. It's what I deserve. Out in the distance, you see a sailboat, and it's Colonel, uh, it's Colonel Lastmaster, and he's basically aboard his own vessel, and he's waving him. Goodbye, everybody! Five years, have a good time! Goodbye! Goodbye! goodbye. Going, Remember us! I'm going back to old Blighty. Hoist the mainsail and the stunsels and, and his fiddle beat to, to, to Bowsbrit. <laughs> oh, I think I've come to terms with the loss of my wife now. So many years to meditate on it. 
I feel much the same, Professor. I feel as if I'm finally ready to move on. As the boat, as the boat turns and heaves to towards the wind, towards the wind you, you see the, the, the stern of the, sh- of the boat come into view, and it says, uh, HMS, I, I did it. <laughs> so Assmaster was the murderer. As for my death, none will question its cause. Its murderer was lack of preparation. <laughs> oh, camera pans up, and you see seagulls fly into the sky. Did I turn into one of them? Or was it just a ratings board thing? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> <laughs>